Welcome back to another episode of The Last Game Hunter. And today, I was looking for something else to have in the game room besides your regular television or your LCD panel. So I wanted to put something bigger in. And bigger meant projector. But I didn't want to spend a lot of money and I figured, hey, let's try this out. So we're going to look at the RCA 100 inch projection screen which actually has its own frame and everything is freestanding and we're going to look at the LED home theater projector and it's only $98 Canadian at Walmart how does it stand up let's find out So guys, welcome to another episode of Last Game Hunter Review Edition. Review Edition? Okay. I said in the new year we'd be doing more reviews and I figured, you know what, if I'm going to add something to the game room or I'm going to try something for the game room, then I should review it. Someone else may want a cheap home theater system. You have your friends coming over. Why not play on a 100 inch screen versus a 50 or 55 or 65 or whatever you may have? It's still bigger. This can do up to a 150 inch screen. Now I only bought a 100 inch screen because I was in a local Canadian tire in Canada and they had the screen on for $89 and I had $77 Canadian tire money on me. This was a no brainer. So I only paid like I think 20 bucks or something in the end for screening. That was pretty awesome. Now the screen, I'm not going to do much uh, talk about it here. I'll show it when I get out to the testing area. Um, I put the screen together, but I did not put the back frame on because it brings it out too far and I wanted it flat on the wall. So I haven't quite flattened it on the wall. I just kind of laid it in place, but it has its own freestanding frame and then it's got the black border trim and a hundred inch screen. And it looks pretty cool, but We'll have to find out if it's actually any good. For me, it was 20 something dollars in the end. I'm not out really any money. I thought, hey, I'm gonna give it a try. And then later on, I will probably get my motorized screen one. I make some more money. But anyway, back to this. So this projector was actually bought for me by my brother. My brother heard that I wanted something we were over testing out the screen on my old projector that for some weird reason when I moved went all spotty on me. So I needed something new, but it wasn't really a need, it's more a want. And I wanted it for the game room. So thank you my brother. I looked at the box, I was a little worried because it's kind of puffy. And uh, I had the person take a look at it in the store because I thought maybe it was a return. Apparently it's not a return, so we'll find out. Um, some cool things about this unit, it's actually good for 50,000 hours and on the box it states whether the machine will last this long, who knows, it was only $98. But on the box it states for 6 hours every single day it will run for 22 and a half years. That's amazing, you're not going to average 6 hours a day. If you were to leave it on 24-7, non-stop, never turn it off. It's good for 5.7 years. That's pretty impressive. You know, my other projectors were only good for 2,000 hours. So 2,000 hours versus 50,000 hours? I'm not even buying my bulb for $98. So let's open this up. No cutting to do, because they're not sealed boxes. Right off the bat, we have our RCA remote control, which actually looks pretty cool. I like the white. I like the white on black. It looks really gamey. And, I don't know. I mean, we know it's pretty cheap, but it looks like a lens adapter. It actually has some, I don't know if it's meant to have any lenses put on it, but okay. I don't know why I keep throwing boxes and other things. So you have your instructions. 
Who needs that? We're men. We don't. We don't need men. Do not need instructions on camera. So what do we have in here? Power adapter. You know, I have to say, it's actually a pretty heavy power adapter, which is actually impressive. I expected something kind of chintzy, cheesy, you know, kind of like a, a five volt, but actually the output is 12 volt at two and a half. So, decent. It's kind of cute, huh? Cute. Okay, so the build seems really nice. I mean, it actually feels like a decent projector. It really does. Doesn't seem very chintzy. Um, so you have your uh, VGA here. Looks like an IR sensor at the back. I guess that makes sense because most people would have the projector kind of in front of them or on the ceiling and you would use your remote. So that does make sense. You have all your buttons here for uh, adjusting your settings and so on or your inputs. Now what is really nice about this unit was you have your power, you have a USB port so you can USB a USB stick or whatever apparently and play videos or whatever off it. I can watch myself non-stop. I know it's weird. That's, that's really weird. I never do that. You can also two HDMI inputs. When I was looking this up, I thought I only had one. So this has two HDMI inputs. That is awesome. That just made my day because I was going to just use a splitter on the unit. But in this case, I'll have two different hookups or I'm just going to use this mostly for, you know, having some buddies over or review videos because now I can just do a review right on my wall here hooked up to my Elgato and I just made my life so much easier because I've been having trouble doing these kind of things uh, since I moved because my game room and my office are separated. Before my game room was together with my office and everything was linked. So I've been struggling with the ideas of it. Uh, moving on, there's a TF card port here. So you can take a TF card, put movies on it as per what I read on the box and the info I read online and actually play movies through it. So actually a freestanding movie player without anything hooked up to it, that's brilliant. For $98, this is brilliant. So it's 2,000 lumens. Uh, I don't know what's here. Oh, headphone jacks. So 2,000 lumens. It says it's super bright, but we're gonna find that out because I have a projector here and my in focus that was, I think, 3,000 lumens. And actually, no, it was 2,500 lumens. So these would be pretty close according to the stats. I'll let you know if that's actually real. If, if this 2000 is really a 2000, or is it more like a 1500? And is it really needed? It might just be fine the way it is. So guys, let's hook this baby up. Let's check it out and see what my overall thoughts are and am I returning it? Or does it become a part of the last Game Hunter's new game room? Okay, so here's the uh, projector. 1080p running on an Xbox One S. Just thought I'd do trailers or something for now because it's kind of uh, too many updates right now because it's been unplugged for since I moved, so it's been not able to uh, do 15, 20 gig updates on everything right now. So as you can see. You'll see lines in the screen. That's actually my fault because I don't have the back brace for the stand on. It's not pulling the screen tight. So the creases from the folds are still there. So that would be rectified. I can't blame the screen for that. I'm blaming myself. So the screen is fine. Um, it looks okay I'm not gonna say like right now I'm just filming it so it's not going through an Elgato or anything you're seeing the live footage on the uh, through the camera right to the screen not overly amazed by it but I'm not upset by it either I mean like we said it's a $98 projector so the audio is amazing from it to be honest I, I got this cranked all the way down and it still sounds pretty 
decent. So guys, I'm going to try one more thing, and that is just directly on a wall without any lines or anything. I just want to see the difference. So I'm going to take this to my office at a shorter range. I'm not sure how big the screen will be smaller, I'm guessing. And we're just going to see the quality difference. I'll do the exact same video. Well guys, as you can see here, night and day difference. Uh, let's go to that same, oops. Same video and see the quality difference could be very well the screen and definitely the distance. At the heart of Anthem is the concept of our world, my story. The unique combination of a dynamic, ever-changing world and a powerful personal story. In our world, you band together with friends for epic adventures across a vast shared landscape teeming with danger. Yeah, this is night the world and day. And again, the volume low and, together, you'll and you still see enemies. everything clear. Okay. Let's go back to the Game Hunter desk and give you my thoughts. Okay guys, the verdict's in. Do I like the projector? I did not like it as much on the screen I purchased. Because the screen is a pass-through. So I'm going to not recommend the screen. The lines, don't worry about that. That actually gets removed by adding the back brace and the straps. I did not do that. So the lines would not be there. So don't look at that as a negative for the screen. The screen actually does work quite well. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But when I put it on the wall, as you see in the video, it killed it. The wall looks so much better than the screen. I said to play around with some settings after and I figured it out. Yes, it, it, it is cleaner and clearer than that, um, than what I showed. So for $98, this is a great fun unit to have your friends over and play couch co-op. The way, you know, fun gaming used to be. If you're looking at this to be your replacement projector for your home theater, no, go spend some more money and get something a bit brighter. It did work great in here. So I'm not going to say that it, you know, it's not a good thing that you can't watch your movies on. Sure you can. But I think that an overall continuous use projection system, no. But for something to have fun with and just have couch co-op with your friends, definitely. So the verdict on this is I'm giving it a bit of a thumbs up. I'm not quite giving it. I can't do it. But... Overall, the product isn't that bad. Remember, it's under $100 Canadian. So probably about 75 bucks at a Walmart. This is a no-brainer. But I would recommend either using a nice white wall or buying a real screen that actually has the black backing. And that would make the massive difference. I'm going to buy one of those screens for my, or for my game room, which will probably be a motorized Elite. Uh, I think it's called Elite. I believe that's the name and I want something motorized so it's out of the way and when I want it will just come down and it gives it more of a wow factor and I think right now you can get them for around 200 300 Canadian so even the prices on those have come down so guys until next time it has been all fun and games I am going to call some people and play some games and game over